brothers and sisters, welcome to the Bayt al-Ghadir channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share our content through uh, the different social media platforms, uh, whichever one that you utilize and encourage other people to do likewise. As you know, we're doing a series of videos which are addressing uh, those which were submitted by um, uh, Brother Haji, known as uh, Muhammad, his actual name is Muhammad Naim Saftar in which he did a series of videos attacking Shias and mocking their beliefs based on uh, certain narrations, which he uh, pulled out from Shia texts. Um, and uh, we were really looking forward to having a response from my brother Haji, which would be academic, which would be based about, around looking at what we'd said and addressing each of those points. The two videos which he's done, one in which he seemed to uh, infer that the Shias uh, essentially believe in the divinity of the imams almost uh, on par with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the other video was the topic of Vilaya um, which we will inshallah also deal with and you'll see a real revelation on the on the, the part of Brother Haji but uh, we will deal with that as, as we go along. Now a very important point and I want to make this very very clear is um, the terrible terrible akhlaq of Haji he really does like being playing the role of the court jester that's something that he really, really gets a kick out of. And he thinks that Comedy Club is part and parcel of how he becomes famous and gets some sort of cult status. And uh, hence we see um, his usage of certain terminologies. Um, for example, Zulfiqar uh, Khamar is used term, terminologies like that. He refers to me as squeaky voice. You know, he stoops as low as is possible. If there's the lowest common denominator, Haji really does scrape at the bottom of the barrel. He has no shame whatsoever. So in many ways, on a few occasions, I was actually thinking we should just ignore the guy. But because he's such, you know, so vociferous and he thinks himself as some sort of hero uh, amongst the Al-Sunnah wal Jamaa, whatever they are, whether they are, they are these Salafi, because he doesn't seem to clarify who he is. Uh, since he's such a hero, he thinks he is anyway. And he's saying all this, you know, bravado, showing off what a big man he is. We thought we'll um, deal with him in, these, um, in this video today, inshallah. So, um... Sayyid Ali, over to you. Let's deal with the Naya first. Sayyid Hassabari, thank you very much for the introduction. And the Aslam welcome to the viewers who are tuning in. You know, I just want to clarify just some quick points. And that is, obviously, in this video, we'll be dealing with his most recent uh, refutation on the topic of Walaya. So, firstly, I just want to be very brief. And I just want to mention to a uh, mom named Safdal uh, that this was the same brother who said that the concept of Walaya had absolutely no basis from the Holy Quran. What is Wilaya? A concept that is not even mentioned in the Quran. So from somebody who outright denied the concept of Wilaya, saying that it has no basis in the Holy Quran, he now believes in the Wilaya of the Shekhan and other uh, personalities, including, you know, obviously the Umayyads and the Abbasid rules and so forth. It's exactly which we agree with. We agree that Wilaya, Wala, Mawalla and all of these words in terms from the root uh, Arabic uh, verb wala is something we agree okay. with. But Lisan al Arab, al Qamus al Muhid, could mean Nusra, could mean Muhabba, and it can mean having control or power over something. So then, how is it that you could restrict that to Ali radiallahu anhu? Uh, you take the Sunni definition, having authority over something. Abu Bakr and Umar had authority over a whole Khilafah, which Ali radiallahu anhu pledged to. All three of the Khulafa Rashidin al Mahdin radiallahu anhu. Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman had wilaya. I believe in the wilaya, so so should you. You take the Sunni definition. So I want you to say Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman had wilaya, and they had authority over something, and they were guardians, and they had power. They were, they were the Mawla of so many people under their Khilafah. They had wilaya. You understand? From, from the Sunni definition. So how is he restricted to Ali radiallahu anhu? So I just found it pretty uh, uh, hilarious that uh, on one hand you were trying to portray to the viewers that there was no basis of wilaya from the Holy Quran and Sunnah, prophetic Sunnah, to now agreeing on the concept of wilaya. I, I, think, I think it just um, it, it eats of, of hypocrisy. The same man that's laughing, Vilaya, Vilaya, it's almost like a comedy album. The Vilaya, the Vilaya. The, so the Vilaya, except the Vilaya. <laughs> and which Vilaya, the Vilaya, the Vilaya. Suddenly, from, you're right, it's been a, like um, a, a vault face, basically. A hundred, you know, you know, a complete U-turn on this policy. Hmm. On the one hand, on one minute, it's a complete farce and a nonsensical concept. And now, oh, it's fine, because it incorporates the Shekhan and Mali. And, uh, you know, uh, uh, and uh, the Bani Umayyad. 
And yeah. What sort of hypocrisy is that? At least stand firm in your belief that it's, it, it doesn't exist and it's, it, it's a nonsense. That's your position. See, 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 the real is, see, the real issue here is that, you know, Muhammad Naim Saftar has a problem with the liar of Middle Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salam. This is the real issue. One hundred percent. That's what it is. He, he he thought he would do a refutation, but in reality, what he did was he refuted himself. Yeah. This is the same individual who made a mockery of Walaya, who said had absolutely no basis from the Holy Quran, to now believing in the concept of Walaya and even accepting our understanding of Walaya. Um. So, very briefly, I just want to touch on some points in in this refutation because, to be honest with you, we're not even required to give a response because he refuted himself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you know, through his blessings, um, made this person confess to the concept of Walaya from his own tongue. Had he made the, his position clear from the start to the viewers that, look, we believe in this concept of Walaya, we believe in the Walaya of whoever he wants to believe in the concept of Walaya, that's one issue. But him saying that this concept has absolutely no basis from the Holy Quran, this just goes to show his double standards and hypocrisy um, about this particular subject matter. So what he tried to do, he tried to use a diversion tactic. And what he was uh, suggesting was, oh, well, we didn't read the other meanings of the, 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 the word walaya and what it entails. But we made it very clear from our uh, video, um, I believe it was the third response video uh, to him, that the word walaya entails many different meanings. And obviously, as Shias, we stated the Shia position of what our understanding of Walaya is. Baba Abul Hassan obviously belongs to the Sunni community. He stated what the, the Sunni position was of, of Walaya. Absolutely, yes, he did. He made it very clear. He said the Sunni position. We asked him, we asked him to clarify it, and he said this, these are the, the, the positions. So we haven't hidden anything here. We, we didn't in any way uh, adopt any form of deception. We made it clear. The Shia stance is this, and Brother Abul Hassan, being a Sunni, presented the Sunni stance. He said there's a and he goes, some of the Shia stance is also accepted by some Sunnis. He was trying to nitpick little petty issues which we had already tackled in our previous, uh, in, our, in, our, in, our, in our original video. We actually tackled all these points. We discussed the different meanings of Wali. We discussed the different meanings of Mola. Uh, we, we discussed the concept of what Walaya is. We discussed what Sunni ulama have said about Walaya. Um, and in fact, we even presented narrations where all these terms were explicitly mentioned for Imam Ali Islam. So what did Muhammad Naim Safta do? He said, well, okay, um, we can accept the same meanings uh, for, you know, uh, the Shaykhan, meaning Abu Bakr and Umar. We can accept for Abu Bakr, we can accept for Umar, we can accept for Osman, we can accept even for Mawiyah, we can even accept for Bani, Bani Umayyah. Fine. If you want to believe in their wilaya, you're entitled to. That's, that's not an issue. That's, that's your choice. You can accept that. You can believe in that. In fact, we even quoted Alama Alusi in Ru Mani stating that there is this concept of believing in the Walaya of these particular individuals. But remember one thing. Mujaddid Alif Thani said that Amid al-Mu'mineen Ali alayhi salam is the, the head, the crown of Walaya and all the awliya they are under his feet. So that would include the Shaykhan and any other person who you claim is entitled, entitled to the meaning of Walaya. But Haji, Muhammad Naim Safdar, you failed in one thing, and that is providing an explicit narration from the Holy Prophet, and peace and blessings be upon him, that these particular individuals fall under the term Wali as appointed by the Holy Prophet, and peace and blessings be upon him. We, on the other hand, presented explicit narrations from the Prophet, may peace and blessings be upon him, where the term Wali, where the term Mawla, even Khalifa was used for Amir al Mumin in Ali alayhi salam. So, uh, in terms of your, your video you've done, um, it was a major own goal. As I said before, you, you, you outright deny the concept of Walaya, now accepting it. You had no choice but to accept it. So, from our side, in terms of responding to you, uh, well, there's no response needed, to be honest with you, because you refute yourself. You know, I think it's amazing. The, the real thing is, the question we have to ask is, this is an individual who was trying to present uh, the concept of, of Valaya as alien to Islam. So it has no nexus with, with, with Muslim belief. 
uh, which is why it was so risable to him. He was sort of laughing and mocking it. And yet all of a sudden, we suddenly have a, a, a complete U-turn where he suddenly accepts it. And if that isn't hypocrisy, what is it? Why, why the sudden change? All because we evidence the fact that Valaya is a concept that exists. It is something that Al-Sunnah wa Al-Jama'ah accept. All of a sudden, from, from a concept that is, uh, doesn't exist to one that does. I know not does it, it doesn't just exist, it includes the Bani Amayyan model. So you see how he changes. You know, he, he's suddenly very tactically and he's done it. Um, you know, if you hadn't seen, if, if you believed there was some concept of a liar for Mavya and the Bani Amaya, why didn't you say in your early videos? You could have rather than saying this concept doesn't exist, you could have said this is a concept and we believe that Mavya. Um, in particular, and the Bani Amaya, who you clearly have an affiliation with, and why didn't you talk about Valaya in the first video, you know, in your opening salvo to us, say, um, this is a concept that al believe in Valaya, and this is how they believe it. You actually said in your video that it doesn't exist as a concept. You said it, there's no chronic basis for it. Khalas. Yeah, I mean, there's another point that I'm sure um, Haji will probably latch on to, he might try to dismiss what we're saying by saying that, you know, I or don't accept the Vilaya of the 12 Imams. But um, first and foremost, as we evidence in our own, uh, in our response, that certainly the Vilaya of Amid al-Mumin, alayhi salatu wa salam, is something that has been affirmed by the scholars of al Sunnah wal Jamaa. And in fact, the ulama of al Sunnah wal Jamaa have even commented of, of the, uh, on the Vilaya of the other Imams of al-Bayt, alayhi salam. They haven't had umbrage with it like you have. So um, if if it is if your belaya phobia extends to Imam Ali Salam and uh, the other Imams uh, from the Holy Household, um, what is it? What's the issue? You you reject that? What what aspect of it do you reject? Okay, do you accept that these are uh, valis on yes or no? Do you accept their belaya, whether it's from a Shia perspective? Obviously, that would be uh, unpalatable to you. But what about the Sunni concept of belaya? The, the, they've, your ulama have accepted the vilaya of the al bayt alayhi salatu So why don't you man up and, and come out and tell us your position? The, the vilaya that you find risable, and uh, the vilaya, it could be that you, you have an issue with the vilaya of the 12 imams. Majad al he said that the vilaya of Amir al-Mamnin alayhi salatu wasalam, that existed prior to, you know, he, he appearing on earth. So what do you say about that? Well, you know, clearly this, this issue that you have with vilaya isn't, you have no problem with the Valaya of Bani Amaya, the Mavia, but you've got some issue with the Valaya of the Arab Hadal, So why do you come up and say, yeah, I accept the Valaya? But you, you're, you've been mocking Valaya, so whether it's the Shia concept, whether it's mastership, or Valaya as in a closeness, friendship, whatever it is, do you not attribute any of that concept to the Imams of Arab Hadal, yes or no? I think there's another important point that um, you have created this diversion tactic and harbored on about the, the other definitions of Eliyah and sought to elude, suggested, should one say, in a, in a manner that um, we had been uh, dishonest. Not at all. We, we made it clear that there are two concepts of Eliyah, two understandings. Um, and uh, the thing is, if you have an issue with it, Imam Shoukani, he was a very, very highly respected scholar of uh, al Sunnah al Jamaa, and he actually wrote a book believing in Valaya, evidencing the Valaya, the nomination of Amir al-Mumnin alayhi salam. So again, if you, this concept of Valaya that you find risable is something that's been accepted by ulama. And the funny thing is, you, you've harbored on on this point on what Valaya means, um, but you failed, spectacularly failed, intentionally, to address the, um, the, the text that we cited from the ulama of al Sunnah, which did believe in the Valaya of Amir al-Mumnin alayhi salatu Why haven't you refuted that? Why haven't you addressed that? Bro, Abu Hassan, could you um, come and conclude this point first, please, bro? Okay. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim Thank you guys for having me on again. I'd just like to enforce that, firstly, I am a guest on the show, and obviously I am a Sunni. And if that's something too hard for them to process, well, then that's their issue. Sunnis and Shia have always been meeting. It's only the Nawasab and the haters of Ahlul Bayt that have always had an issue with Sunnis and Shia meeting up. So firstly, I'd like to emphasize on the akhlaq of this bro Haji. He has no akhlaq. And to be very honest, I'm actually not surprised of someone who is just making a mockery of everyone. So it's not very surprising for me personally to see him like this. Because if you look at their forefathers like Ibn Taymiyyah, 
you will find their akhlaq to be disgusting. For example, they even insulted the Ashairah as being makhanit, which is a term for being transgenders. The Ashairah are transgenders. And when they'd come to describe certain Shia scholars, Ibn Taymiyyah would often say, instead of Ibn al-Mutahhir, he'd say Ibn al-Munajjis. So as I said, these terms of uh, mockery and disgusting terms is the terms that they got from the, the Nawasib before them. So this is not new for it. Bro, had you to be doing this. The third point I'd like to say is that he too has been deceiving throughout this response video that he's accusing us of being deceiving. Out of eight shows or nine shows, he has only been able to cherry pick one report that we supposedly mistranslated and ignore everything in the rest of the videos. Is this fair to do this, Bro Haji? Why can't you respond to the rest of the videos or is it too hard for you? It's okay. We understand that it's hard for you and that's why you had to come in the next video actually accepting Wilaya. And I don't understand the big problem of someone accepting Wilaya. Salafis accepted to Wilaya as well. Muhammad ibn Ali Shawkani, the Salafi Imam of his time, he accepted Wilaya. And, was, and he made a whole book called Al-Aqd al-Thameen fi ispat wi sayat amir al mumini And he said, at least, at least, even if you're going to say, yeah, I disagree, you have to accept that this is a point of view that is valid because certain Sahaba accepted it too. Because you have to remember that he's speaking in the Sunni perspective. Sunnis takes the word of Sahaba as a hoja. So that's why he's saying, okay, fair enough. You want to disagree, he's talking to the opponent. Like you want to disagree, but you also have to respect the other side that also accept wilaya because certain Sahaba accepted it too as well. And often certain Nawasib would always try to argue that this narration, asking about the wasi of Amir al-Mu'mineen when it came to Sayyida Aisha, they'd often say that this has something to do with Abdullah ibn Sabah. The vast majority of the narrations talking about Abdullah ibn Sabah are fabricated in the first place. Secondly, Abdullah ibn Sabah didn't have a presence after the Prophet. He didn't come till later, even the ones that talk about him. So, and in Muhammad ibn Ali Shawkani, the Salafi Imam, the same one in the same book, as we presented in that show, that he presented that, that this was an opinion discussed between the Sahaba, not between Abdullah ibn Saba. And we stress this point also in the video, original video. Imam Ali is the spiritual Imam. We all have to take our knowledge from Imam Ali because he is the most knowledgeable Sahaba and his wilaya in terms of the spiritual at least we can agree on and wa sallallahu alayhi wa muhammad wa ala ali muhammad thank you very much both of you for your contributions and that essentially concludes um our refutation on this uh, on uh, brother haji's video on wilaya um you know alhamdulillah we've seen a, a, a conversion from a doubter to a believer in wilaya Although it is a, a believer in the Vilaya of the Bani Humayya, not Amir al Mumineen, but at least he believes in the concept. So um, that's that point addressed. Spec spectacular on God by Haji, an admission which I'm sure we never thought we'd see, but Alhamdulillah, we've seen something. Yet again, a spectacular fail.